Welcome to the world of routers. What a router can do in a network? Let's find out. Welcome to iRush Academy, an unlimited learning platform. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Welcome to the CCNA 200 3.1 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solution Chapter Number 8 Routers In this chapter, we will learn about networking device router. We will discuss about the difference between a network switch and a router. We will introduce some common model of routers. Router, the network wall. Consider the office of iRush Academy. Here, we have a provision called user desk where all the users, PCs are available and they are working. And then we have a conference room where all the conference and board meetings are happening. Then we have a meeting room, a small discussion room for the colleagues. And then we have a visitor room. Then we have a visitor room where the visitors are treated as guests. Now consider in this building we have four different area which is separated by wall. So what is the purpose of this wall in between multiple area? The purpose of this wall is separate between them. When we put a wall in between the multiple area, that means we are not interfering the other area. For example, if someone want to work at user desk, they can work without any disturbance from the conference room and meeting room. And if when the people want to do the conference, they can sit at the conference room and they are free from any kind of noise that is happening at the meeting room, visitor room and user desk. The same status applicable for meeting room and visitor room as well. So what is the purpose of this wall? And that is the same the purpose of the router. The router is considering as a wall in between multiple networks. They separate multiple network and only allow the required data in between them. Their function is same like a network wall between multiple network. In this screen, we can see that multiple networks are connected with the help of a single router. As we can see in the screen, there is a user network where all the user computers are connected. This network is connected to the interface zero of router. Then we have the second network, the server network where all of our server infrastructure are hosted. This network is connected to the interface number one of the router. Then we have the third network, it's called DMZ. All the application server, web server, internet facing server are connected in this zone. This network is connected at the interface number two of the router. So what is the main function of this router? The main function of this router is separate the network one network 2, network 3 and establish a connectivity in between them. For example, this router helps to route the packet from one network into a different network. When we say from the network 1, it can route the packet to the network 2 and network 3. In the same way, it can route the packet from network 2 to network 1 and network 3. Again, from network 3, it can route the packet to network 2 and network 1. So basic functionality of this router is to route the packet from one network to a different network in the form of packets. Now let's discuss about the definition of the router. A router is a networking device that connects different computer networks together and direct the data traffic between them. Router used to route packets from one network to a different network. How do I draw the symbol of router? Or how do I recognize a router from a network diagram? So these two pictures shows the symbol of network diagram. This shows how the router represent in a network diagram. We have two different kind of symbol for the router to represent in a network diagram. So this is the first one and this is the second one. Now let's talk about the real image of the router. The picture shows the real image of the router. The first image shows the front view and the second image shows the back view of the router. In the front view, we can see few LED lights which is working as an indicator. This 
indicator represent the power status and interface status of the router. And at the back side, we can see one port for the power and then we can see the router interface. Plus, we have additional provision to install the additional module in the router. Now let's discuss about the features of the routers. Router is the networking device that used to route packets from one network into a different network. Just consider the image as shown in the screen. Here we can see two different network called network A and network B are connected at two different interfaces of the router. PC1 and PC2 are connected to the network A with the help of a switch 1 and PC3 PC4 are connected to network B with the help of switch 2. Now by default, the PC1 and PC2 can communicate together without any issue because they are in the same network. But when the PC1 want to communicate with the PC4, then the router need to do a routing between these two networks. In the same way, when the PC3 want to communicate with the PC2, the router need to do the routing from network B to network A. So basically, router is the networking device that used to route the packets from one network into a different network. Router move data between the network. Yes, that's right. As we discussed here, move the data between network A and network B. Router is a device used to connect the dissimilar network. So its main function is to route the data between different network. Router used to connect dissimilar network. Yes, that's right. Here, the network A and network B are totally different network. If you want to connect the net, we are using the router here because we wanted to connect multiple network together. If the PC1, PC2 and PC3, PC4 are in the same network, then we don't need a router here. The network switch is enough to provide the network connectivity to all these devices. Routers are software based devices. In the previous chapter, we learned about the network switches. The network switches are hardware based devices. The switches are using ASIC chip and program those as per the requirement. So they are very fast. Now when we talk about the routers, unlike the network switches, routers are software based devices. They are not that much fast like network switches and they don't use any hardware based performance. Cisco developed an operating system for the router mainly that is called IOS, Interconnecting Operating System. All of the Cisco devices are using this IOS nowadays. Cisco developed lot of new features in the IOS. So the software based devices router can do so much more than the hardware based network switches. Routers are slow by compared to the switches. Switches are hardware based devices. They use ASIC chips to increase the performance of the hardware. So they are very fast. But on the other hand, the routers are software based devices. They don't have any hardware based performance. That's why the routers are slower than the switches. Routers work at network layer of the OSA model. In this picture, we can see the OSA model representation. Here, the physical layer is where the network hubs are working. And the data link layer is where the network switches are working. Now, the network layer is where the routers are working. Routers are working at the network layer because they are mainly deal with the IP address of the devices. They don't deal with the MAC address of the devices. The main function of the router is to route the packet from one network to another network based on the IP address. Now let's talk about the difference between the switches and routers. When we consider the switches and routers, there are a lot of difference in the functionality and the features. Let's discuss the differences. Switches are mostly working at layer 2. But some switches have routing feature and they are working at layer 3. But the routers are working at layer 3 always. 
The layer 2 switches are working at the data link layer of the OSI model and they are working based on the MAC address. But the layer 3 switches are working at the network layer of the OSI model and they can work based on the MAC address and IP address of the devices. On the other hand, router can only working based on the IP address. So they are working at the network layer of the OSI model. Another difference is switches are working based on the MAC address and IP address. That is the same thing we discuss now. But the routers are working based on the IP address. They don't work based on the MAC address of the device. Because they are layer 3 devices. Switches are hardware based devices so they are very fast. On the other hand routers are software based devices so they are slower than the switches. The switches are hardware based devices. They are using ASIC chips for the hardware based acceleration. So they are very fast network switches can provide the wire speed for the data transfer. But the routers are software based devices. They don't have hardware based acceleration for the data transfer. All of the features in a router is based on the software based features. So they have very wide feature availability than the network switches. Switches used to switch the data in the same network. But the router used to route the data to a different network. The network switches are layer 2 devices and they have a single broadcast domain. So they used to connect the similar network. So they used to connect the multiple devices in the same network. But in the case of router, each interface of a router is a broadcast domain. They can connect multiple network together. Another difference is data is sent through the switch in the form of frames. But in the router, data is sent through the router in the form of packet. The concept of frames and packets are different based on the switch and router. When a network switch processes the data, we call it frames. And when a router processes the data, we call it packet. Switches are using to connect multiple devices together. But the routers are using to connect multiple networks together. We already discussed that the network switches are using to connect multiple devices in the same network. They cannot use to connect multiple networks together. But the routers are using to connect multiple networks together. They cannot connect multiple devices from the same network. So these are the difference between network switch and routers. Now let's talk about some common Cisco router model that we are using for small size and for small business. So the first one is Cisco 1600 series. Then we have Cisco 1700. Then Cisco 1800 and Cisco 1900. So when we talk about the Cisco router model for small size, for small business, the Cisco 1600 is the basic model. It has two 10 Mbps interfaces. And Cisco 1700 also is an upgraded version of Cisco 1600. It also have two 10 Mbps interface. And Cisco 1800, it has it has routing interface as well as a switching interface. Now when we talk about the Cisco 1900, it has interface of 1 GB PS speed and it has additional provision that we can install the additional modules. Now when we talk about the common Cisco router model for small size and medium business, we can consider the Cisco 2600. And then we can consider Cisco 2800, then finally Cisco 2900. These all are very useful for medium sized business. And when we talk about the medium sized large business, we can consider Cisco 3800 and Cisco 3900. So these are the large switches that we can install multiple additional module into that. In this picture, we can see here this router has the space for additional module. We can replace all this panel with the additional module. Depends on our requirement. Now let's talk about the common Cisco router model for ISP. ISP means the internet service provider. So this kind of switches are not using that commonly in any private network. This is mainly used by the internet service provider. So we can consider Cisco 7200 and Cisco 7300 then we have the big monster switch Cisco 7600. 
as we can see these are very large router it has dual power supply and it has multiple blades so each blade we can use it for many interfaces so in this chapter we have learned about the networking device router we have discussed about the difference between a network switch and a router and finally we have introduced some common model of routers thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel for more videos